What's up guys, welcome to episode 12 of Game Dev. This episode is going to be quite a long episode. Uh, we're going to be changing this texture crap, quadrilaterals, and we're going to actually be making sprites here. So, buckle your seatbelts because this is a long one. I've recorded this video about five or six times trying to get the explanation right. Uh, so it's as least confusing as possible. So, here we go. Uh, first off, let's get started by adding our new class that we're going to be adding. Uh, nope, wrong one. Let's go web, new file, and we'll call it sprites.dart. And part of alpha, uh, sprites. And we will need a class sprite as well. Okay. So let's incorporate that in our main class here. Doing it here. Dart, sprites, uh, dart. All right. So the sprites class. Now this class is going to essentially be a replication of our quadrilateral, except it's going to be changed up a little bit. Well, quite a bit, because we need to change this data structure for uh, sprites instead of just a regular quadrilateral. But we have the foundation for it. So if you recall how we're doing this is we are getting the three locations or the three locations for the indexes for our position, our color, and our texture. We're sticking them in the vertices data, and then we are putting that into our here we're putting it into our actual array buffer here so we're going to change this a little bit and how it's going to work now is we're going to have a, a vertex data for each different sprite so the way that we're going to do that and stick it into one variable here we're going to use the gl buffer data sub typed it's just got a sub in there and that'll allow us to access a sub kind of variable that we can stick multiple different uh, indexes in and it'll just incorporate it into one for us so let's go into the sprites class and let's actually get started on this. I want to copy over these, uh, not you, these. We're going to put them, let's put them out, out here. Okay, so we're just going to include these here. And I'm also going to just add a little comment here for our vertex data so we know where what is. So we're going to have the X, the Y, the Z, and those are going to be at uh, zero and there's three of them. Then we're going to have, we're going to create two offsets, XO and I guess it's, no, Y offset. And these offsets are going to allow us to offset the sprite in the actual sheet without modifying the actual position of the sprite. So it's just the rendering offset kind of. Uh, next up, we're going to have the, we'll just call it U and V for now. Uh, this is going to be the two texture coordinates here. Okay. Go zero plus two again. Actually, no, this is three plus two. This is going to be 5 plus 2 because this is a 0 index, this is the 3rd index, and this one's the 5th index. And then the RGB. And we're going to omit the alpha for now, and this is just so that we can... Um, we can add it back in later if we feel like it, but this is just going to be for the RGB. Okay, what else do we need? Where's that comment for now? Uh, we will need some more here. We're going to have a... Static. Static. Static and static key. Let's put them in here because they're only relative to the sprites class. Uh, so we'll make another const, and this one's going to be max vertices. So this will be a maximum that we can render on the screen, and we'll just make it the max int number, which is 65536. So that's the maximum integer number you can have. Is vertices right? Vertices, yeah, sure. No I, but sure. Uh, static, const, int, and we'll just say max sprites. And since there's four vertex vertexes, vertices per sprite, it will just be max vertices. And we will divide it by four. Okay. So that will give us how many sprites we can have. Next up, we need a list of sprites. So we'll just create a list of sprite, sprites was new list sprite pretty self-explanatory apparently I can't type today uh, we will need the shader well, we'll need all the things from here so let's just go get them put them right there shader texture all that crap and now we just create the sprites class say this dot shader this dot texture same as we did before, we can probably just go in here and steal all this, actually. Do that. 
because why recode all of that? But we're going to get rid of the vertex data here. We don't need that anymore, and we will need to add a new variable up here for an A offset. And we'll call this offs location. Again, this will be just the rendering offset for the uh, sprite. Okay. Uh, we will actually, I don't want to get rid of that vertex as well. We can do it right here. What we're going to do here is we'll say buffer data typed and we'll do new float 32 list. And this is going to be max vertices times floats per vertex. And instead of static draw, we're going to do dynamic draw, which is going to allow us to modify it repeatedly instead of just the once. Uh, next up, we need to this in 16 list, since we have many, many vertices now, we're actually going to have to apply them to all the different vertices. So right here, we don't actually need the shader.use either. Get rid of that here for now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in 16 list index data, and we'll just set it to a size of max sprites times six, because there were six inside of that thing. Uh, no. Okay, and now we're going to go for int i is equal to zero, i is less than max sprites, i plus plus, and we go int offs, just for the offset is equal to i times four, we go index data dot set all, and i times six here, and now we go offs plus, now this is the long part, offs plus zero, there'll be six of these again, one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, oh no, three, two, because we're rendering in zero, one, two, zero, two, three, again, but we will just set them up like this, okay, next up, what we're going to do is we go index buffer, we're setting it, index data, good, good. And then here we'll shader.use. I'm actually gonna take these and rip them down here. And the same with these three matrices. Just because I kind of want to clean up the code a little bit and make it put things together, because we're setting them down here. Uh, now we need to add in the offsets here, and I'm actually going to change up the order in which we're doing it. So we're going to do the position first. Next, we're going to do the uh, what did I say? The offset. Do offs location. Uh, next, we'll do the texture location. That'll be two, and then we'll do RGB last. Just so it's a little cleaner. And here we got three here, and oh, no, I called it call. Uh, we got three there, so that's the third index. This is going to be the fifth index, and that'll be the seventh index. Right? Correct. Okay. So we'll also need a render, f well, we'll need an add sprite function, so we'll say void add sprite. So now we'll need the index of the sprite, so we'll say index equals sprite.index, which is also equal to sprites.length. Okay, so that'll set the sprite index and the index in here. Uh, now we go... Sprite doesn't have an index yet, but we'll have that in a minute. Say so if index is less than max sprites... Sprites... Then we are going to go get the offset. Again, index times floats per vertex times bytes per float and we go gl.bind buffer bind buffer here we go gl.array buffer and that vertex data I actually want to set that as a variable we'll say so we'll set those over here we'll say gl.vertex Oh, it's gl.buffer vertex buffer and index buffer so we have them vertex buffer equal to u nope lied that stays there 
equal to you, vertex, buffer, and index buffer equal to same thing. Just so we have them as variables. So we can access them, because we do need the vertex buffer here. Okay. And then we go gl dot buffer data. Then we go gl dot buffer sub data typed gl dot array buffer again uh, offset is offset times bytes per float and the data is sprite dot data okay and then at the end here we'll just add it this episode's getting quite long so I'm just going to continue it in part two where we actually take a look at the sprite class and then actually we'll do the rendering in part three probably. Um, most likely. There'll be some debug as well. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this and understand everything.